Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and I'm a future first year dental student. Additionally, welcome back to the Mastering DAT Cube Counting series. This is going to be part three of that series. And in this video, we're going to truly master the process of going through cube counting. This video is going to consist of four high level examples of the cube counting section. And it's going to be the definitive types of questions that you're going to see on the DAT. And what I mean by that is that what you're going to see in this video is a figure matched up with three questions. Now on the DAT, it's not always gonna be three questions. It can be, I believe, three or four, possibly even two. But the point is you're going to be, in this video, asked to give three answers for each figure, which is, like I said, exactly what you're going to see on the DAT. So if you join me for parts one and two of this series, in those parts we uh, began looking at cube counting as a section and how to sort of approach it. We then started doing some mid-level examples and we learned about side management. And in this video, we'll do high-level examples and we will master this process. So we'll jump right into it. Here we are with part three. And as I said, four examples for this section. I'm also gonna put the iPad on the table so that I can <laughs> be just a little bit more comfortable because the last couple videos I've held it for some reason and that was stupid. So here we go, right into our first high level example. This is a interesting problem and we have, like I said before, three questions that we're going to be answering here. So we'll go ahead and start counting. We're gonna start of course on this, this, right, uh, this left side here of the figure and we're gonna go one, two, top three. We'll go back this way towards the back of the figure, one, two on this cube, tick mark for two. We'll go back again, one, two, another tick mark for two. And then this back cube here is going to be one and a two on the back side. So now we have one row completed. I'll add that tick mark for two. And as you can see, four cubes that we just counted. So one, two, three, and four that we just counted and four tick marks over here. So now we're gonna move to the right as I taught you in past videos and we'll go one, two, tick mark for two. There's a cube below this one right here, but since the paint wouldn't be able to get to it because it's covered by this cube right here, there's not gonna be any sides painted so we're not gonna count anything. Moving back, we have this cube right here which you can barely see. It's right there and that's going to be one side. And then back behind this, that cube that we just counted, we have a back side back here that's going to be another one-sided cube. Moving back over to the right, we have one side here. Behind this cube, behind this cube, we have the cube that's below this one. So that would be sort of in this area right here. And because we can see a space in this area right here, we know that there's gonna be a side right there. So that's going to be a one-sided cube. There is another cube down here below this one that's completely obscured from anything. So nothing there. And then if we continue to go back into the figure, we see that there is a cube back here on the back side, which has one side here and two side here because there's nothing on this. So we can assume that this right here is an open sort of elevator shaft kind of. And this cube back here is gonna be one, two. So there's a two-sided cube right there. Moving to the right yet again, we have one, two, three, backside four. There's our first four-sided cube. We have a space here, and then we have one, two right side and three back side, which you can't see that three back side, but that's gonna be here. And once again, we have to keep in mind this sort of elevator shaft area that we get right here. Um, and that means that everything in this area is, is, is open. So this area here. So that's why that bottom one was three. So now we're gonna go back out and we're gonna go back to the left and start counting here. On the far left, we're gonna start with this cube. That's one, two, three, backside four. And then we will get over to the right here, one, two, three, backside four, same sort of setup there. Continue to the right, one, two, three, four, that's four. We have this cube right here, which has one side there and then another side here, which we can't see, that right side is also painted, so that's a two side cube. We also have this cube here, which is one, two, 
And as I do that one, I realize that I missed a cube, which was right here. So this side is, this is one, backside two, and I need to stop zooming in so much because it's getting messy. And then, okay, so we have, since we just counted this cube, we would, and we also counted these cubes right here, we would go back into this cube that's back here. And this one is going to have two sides exposed. We're gonna have a back side, and we're gonna have this right side, which is up against this elevator shaft area. So that's two. My, my tick marks are really ugly. Moving over to the right yet again, we're gonna start here, one, right side two, back side three. That's our th a three-sided cube. And now we have this second level completed. So this level is complete, and we'll move up yet again, starting here, one, two, three, four. There's a four-sided cube. Here we have one, two, right side three, back side four. There is a four-sided cube. And then our last cube is a top cube, and that's going to be a five-side. I could already tell you that. One, two, three, four, back side five. So when we go and we look at this question, we're going to answer three questions on this one figure. The first one, how many, si how many cubes have three sides? We look at our table, we have three tick marks. So our answer here is three. Then we have how many cubes have one side painted and our table says four. So that's our answer there. And then how many cubes have four sides painted? Our table says six. So there is six. So that is our first high level example. All right, moving on into the next problem. This is our next high level example. We've got this beautiful figure right here and we'll hop right into it. Once again, as I did in the last video, this is a different perspective cube. So where before we saw the angle of the sort of imaginary camera coming in from this side, now it's coming in from this side. But remember that doesn't change the way we approach this question. So go ahead, pause the video, try this first, and then come back and play it and see how I do it. I'm going to try to go pretty quickly because as you do these on the real DAT, you're going to want to be counting pretty quickly. Okay, beginning here on the left side of the figure, one, two, three. Right behind it, we have a one-sided cube. Behind that, we have a two-sided cube. Moving over to the right, one, two, three. One, two. One side here and nothing else. And then behind that, a two-sided cube. So there and there. Then we have over to the right, one, back side two. Over to the right, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, back side two. One, two, back side three. Moving up, one, two, three, four. Behind that one, we have one backside two. Over to the right, one, two, three. And then moving behind that one, we have one, two. Moving over to the right, we have, uh, we're gonna do this cube, so one, two, three. Here, one, two, three, four, and five backside. That's a top cube. And then moving all the way over to the, this one, we have another top cube, one, two, three, four, five. So now we have that second row completed. We're gonna move up again, one, two, three, four, five. There's your five-sided cube, top cube. This one, one, two on the left side, back side three. This one, one, two, three, four. This one, top cube, one, two, three, four, five. Alrighty, so that is all of the counting that we need to do. We need to then go through and answer the questions. So how many cubes have five sides painted? Figure says four tick marks, so that is our answer. How many have two sides painted? Figure says six, seven sides, so that's our answer. And how many cubes have three sides painted? Six, seven, eight, that is our answer for that one. So there is our second high level example in this part three video. And because we're all studying and we need a little bit of a study break sometimes, this is Winnie and she is really happy to be a part of the video. She hates DAT cube counting, but she loves to be on the channel. Say hi. <laughs> 
puppy break aside, let's go ahead and get into our third high level example. And this one is an interesting shape. I don't know if you would see this exactly on the DAT, but it's important for a couple reasons. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Um, also, let me move this real quick because this is kind of in a weird place. Okay, cool. Once again, I'm gonna go pretty quickly and you guys can sort of follow along if you want or you could do it before and then come back. Start over here to the right, one, two, three, backside four. And this is a different sort of angle looking at the cube or looking at the figure, so it's kind of different. Now, even though we have this cube here, there's nothing behind it because we can't see anything behind it. So really, we're just gonna have these rows right here. So then we'll move to the right, one, two, one backside two and there's gonna be a lot of tick marks so we'll have to do sort of like this one backside two one backside two then there is a cube that would be on this corner so that would be one that'd be two on the back side so boom boom here one two here one two one two one two front sides and then one, two, three, backside four. Nice, so we've got that bottom row covered. We're now gonna do the same thing. And there's gonna be, like I said, a lot of tick marks here. So hopefully I don't know, I, you know what? Let me move this over even more just so we don't run out of room. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one, two. This back cube behind there, one, two. Did it again. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Moving up, one, two, three, four, one, two, that, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then one, two, three, four. Moving up, one, two, three, four, one, two. <laughs> so we're really run, running out of room over here. One, two, back side, one, two, one, two, three, four. Moving up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So top side and then there's two back sides. One, two, three, four. Okay, so for this figure, how many cubes have two sides painted? We're gonna have five, 10, 15, 24, 24. How many cubes have three sides painted? One. How many cubes have five sides painted? Zero, which will be an option sometimes. And that is our super weird third high level example that like I said, you probably won't see this on the DAT, but good practice because it's a lot of cubes to keep track of and yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Last but not least, we have our final, our fourth and final high level example. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Once again, I'm gonna pull this over a little bit just to make it a little bit easier to film and we'll hop right in to the counting. Start here at the front, one, two, three, four. Going back, one, two, three, four. Same type of cube over this way, one, two, three. Back, one, two. Back behind it, one, two. Then over again, one, two, three. Here, one, two, right side, three. Nothing there, nothing there. And then our back side would be three because it, it's on its own, it's in its own column here. This one right here, there's three cubes. Or, sorry, four cubes, one, two, three, four. And they each have three sides exposed. So one, two, three. So we'll go ahead and add a tick for three. Moving over, one, two. Back behind that, one. Moving over again, one, two, back side, three. Moving up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nothing on this cube inside here. One, two, three again on the back side, back here. Then over, one, two, right side, three. Back behind that, we have just one, one right there. And then over to the right, we have this one, one, two, three, like that. 
Moving up again, one, two, three. One, two, three. Over to the right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Up again, one, two, three, four, five. That's a top cube. And another top cube right here, one, two, three, four, and five. Boom, just like that. Question's asking us for two sides. So we've got three two-sided cubes there, a four side, and that's gonna be three as well. So guys, just like that, we have done four high-level DAT cube counting examples. And as I say here at the bottom, go excel on the PAT. You're going to do really well. This is some tough stuff, but if you can get to a point like I did where you can just see these cubes in your head and you know, you're, you know they're there, you know what they look like, you're gonna do really well on this. As I said, I don't know if it was in this video or the second video or the first video, but the perceptual ability test is all about practice. You should be doing these practice problems every single day. And there are plenty of example problems out there in the world. So go out and find some things. These are problems that I just came up with on my own. I just sort of drew them out on the iPad and uh, worked through them here with you. But there's plenty of problems out there, especially with things like DAT bootcamp. So just do as much as you can. And I promise if you're struggling with this, you will get better with time and you can be like me and get a 23 or even better on the perceptual ability test. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a like and comment below. How's the studying going and how's Q counting going? Are you enjoying it? Are you hating it? Are you getting better? That's what really matters. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to see more tutorials, um, more about the student life of getting into dental school, and hopefully in the future what it's like to actually be a dental student. It's all gonna be really fun, and if you enjoy the content, check out more by just subscribing. Thanks guys, and good luck with the studying.